On today's episode of Watch JR Go, things are going to be a little bit different than usual. First, new camera, the Fuji X-T4 is here, and we're here at this YouTube fly-in at Stearman, right beside the house. Honestly, this is like a couple minutes away, and apparently, like, every aviation YouTuber is here. And I wanted to check it out. You guys know I'm into planes, tech, everything. What is going on guys? I am Watch Ergo and today I'm here at Stearman Airfield in Benton, Kansas. Not far from the house at all and as you can see there are planes as far as the eye can see. It's all uh, just private aviation stuff and you know I kind of want to go get my pilot's license too. So I figured I'd come check it out and see how the party's going. And there's a lot of cool stuff out here. A bunch of split tails. I think that's a serious, a serious driver. I don't know. There are some planes out here. taking up I watch the Stearman okay. here at Stearman. Check it out. I, I Austin's, I Austin's flying here. He's, yeah. he's the pilot. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm front seat, so that's pretty cool. I love your Ford slip when you come in. Thank you. Everybody loves that. It's pretty cool. You can't do that in the session. Oh, you can. You can do it in anything. Anything that has a rudder. <laughs> Not like you're doing this. Yeah, this is ready. Absolutely. Right. This is gonna be fun. That was awesome, dude. Crazy. Nailed it. This thing is super chill. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just like riding a Harley. It's pretty windy. It is really windy. Pushing the tail around. <laughs> yeah. That was super fun. Not something you get to do very often. Now it is time to head to airstrip attack. So, uh, across Wichita, 
We're gonna take out the Porsche and the Lambo and have some fun. And it's time to head to Airstrip Attack in Independence, Kansas. Here we are with the tow rig. It's not broken this time. It's not gonna break this time. We're not going that far. We're only going two hours. It's pretty close to home. It's definitely full hurricane season out here. Sorry if there's wind noise, uh, but new intercooler in there and uh, all new couplers and it's, it's not gonna break. This thing makes well over a thousand foot pounds of torque, compound turbo, like a thousand horsepower, right, right in that ballpark right there. Uh, the twin turbo Huracan in the trailer here. Look at that, it's opening up. Boom! Looks like they check out. Clear flex on the windshield. Does it distort it? A little bit. <laughs> so everybody's saying that it didn't. I'm like, I don't know. Those people don't and have it on their windshield. Like, it doesn't make a difference. And I'm like, it's got to a little bit. So Ryan from the Kia video just put new glass in the Huracan and now it's clear flex and uh, you know, clear flex, slight distortion. Go time as soon as we can find the trailer keys. Found the trailer keys, that wasn't that hard. And uh, lock up the trailer, we can go down the road. At the beginning of this video, I was like, man, nothing's gonna break this time. We're not going very far. Boom! Dude, it felt like the front end shifted I bet this it time. Did. I, it was not like the last one where the coupler just split. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the carnage. It's the clamp. Is it really? Yeah, that's the T-bolt clamp, and it blasted the coupler off. The coupler's gone? I don't know, let's look. Oh, that worked out great. I trained it up. Brian was like, you can drive the Porsche. <laughs> so he's going to baby the truck, and I get to drive the, his new 800 horsepower race car. Uh, this thing is absolutely nuts. 40,000 miles, completely built. <sighs> This, this is probably one of the wilder 911 turbos. That thing is angry, angry. It's kind of amazing. It looks like a full fire boiler train climbing up the hill. <laughs> the guy pulled me over, said he thought it was because uh, the truck was on fire. Roll coal, brother. He's yeah. rolling all the oh. Jesus. That doesn't look right. That does not. <laughs> I think something's. <laughs> well, this wouldn't be a proper trip without a stop at O'Reilly's. Hop out of the car here real quick. Uh, this thing just came up and said minimum oil level reached. So we got to figure out what oil we need in this thing. Let me open the rear hatch, see if it's got the warning on the engine there and uh, go from there. It probably needs VR1, but we're going to put whatever the engine recommends on it. What's up? All right, that was a fun stop and we are running O'Reilly's oil this time because that's what they had for 5W40. So we're going to roll with it. We have arrived and look what we arrived to. There, there's Lambo, Porsche right there, right here. A C6 ZR1 on some nasty tires. Ooh, that's a slippery parking lot there. Some Continentals and what are our triple eight R's on the back. This is a beautiful ZR1. I love this car. Carbon ceramics, well done. Also, there's a, an entire land of trailers sitting right over there. So as you can see, we've got a GTR, a G8 with a parachute, and a whole bunch of trailers full of race cars that are stashed over there. So uh, this is probably gonna be a pretty fun weekend. I'm excited. The Porsche, driving the Porsche up here was a lot of fun too. Look who's here. They gotta put it on Snapchat of the truck right the wall here. Oh yeah? yeah. We've got Mr. 1320 himself hiding out over there. <laughs> Apparently 1320 is posting a video of the truck just rolling coal across the entire highway. That was awesome. <laughs> I saw them too. There was like four trucks and trailers and I'm like, dude, yep. this is embarrassing. We got, we, got, we got the cops involved. We got 1320 involved. This is just a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't know how you're going 65. I can only do like 45 oh, or 50. So the key is you have to hypermile the truck and on the downhill, like downshift a gear and you get into it. Get it and then back gone. uphill, you just let out, let it coast. Yeah. That's all you can do. So this is Todd's GT3. 
He just told us that this makes 1,300 horsepower. Woo! That is a monster. That's This is kind of the parking lot you want at a hotel you're staying at. It's pretty ideal. Check out this C7. It looks wonderful. Man, those look good. Nice, nice wheel setup. Good, good looking C7 right there. And over here, I mean, I don't even know what's in all these trailers. And you can see where the charge pipe is. A little blow by and fun stuff like that. We're gonna crawl underneath there, try to clean it all up with some brake cleaner real quick. Stop by O'Reilly's, got oil, brake clean, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, we're gonna try to put that thing back. So here is the charge pipe. Wow, that is a lot of oil. But yeah, we'll just wipe all that down and we've got the clamp inside, tighten it down till we can't and that should hopefully hold some boost. There's gonna be a lot of brake clean going on in this thing. Got that bad boy clean. Hopefully. There's no more oil on my face. We can put that back together and clamp it right now. All right, a repair or uh... Maybe a repair, that's Gorilla Tape, made out of real gorillas as you guys might know. Just kidding, just kidding. And it looks like a freight train climbing a hill, like an old coal train. Kind of in love with the way it looked. Anyway. Might be fixed, might not be fixed, probably gonna come apart. But the T-bolt clamp on the uh, coupler broke too, so worm clamp it is, something like that. We're gonna rig it up tomorrow so it'll get us home. Hopefully we can go 60 mile an hour on the way home. And as you can see, all the blow by from the turbo. Uh, it might need a turbo. Worm clamp tomorrow, this truck's gonna get us home. But that is it for today, guys. Look who's here. What's up? 1320 crew, what's going on? And don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjerrygo.com where you can get cool shirts like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time.